Hi everyone, welcome to Bubble TV first day interview. I'm Katie and today we're joined by Ali and Anna from Refugee Action St Andrews. Hi girls, how you doing? Hi. Could you start by telling us what position you have and what the society is all about? I am the president of the society and I'm the vice president of the society. Essentially the society is about creating dialogue and having open discussions about the refugee crisis and everything in the greater dialogue surrounding that. And essentially we want to fundraise and also have just an open platform where people can come along and discuss these issues. And what made you want to set up the society in the first place? Um, I think this was quite um, a natural thing for me to do because I'm originally Syrian and the refugee crisis, although it's not specifically contained to just the plight of Syrians, um, it became it became very much involved with that and being Syrian this was something that really affected me very directly and very emotionally so it was quite obvious for me to want to join. This summer I work for ESEI, it's a local Greek charity that essentially they have a search and rescue teams along the shoreline of Lesbos which is very close to Turkey um, and I'm a diver, I'm also a captain on board a boat, I have a boat license so I was on board their boat and I did search and rescues in the Mediterranean for most of the summer. Yeah, So I, I saw and I met people and I saw everything firsthand, and that just changes everything for you. So I came back, obviously met some amazing people and we decided to do something about it. So what are you excited about for this year and have you got any up upcoming events? We do, so we're in the early phases, but we put a committee together and we're having a first committee meeting this um, this week. Mm -hmm. So what we so far have planned is that we're gonna have a talk. Hopefully we will have Sara Mardini, um, most of you might know of her, come along and talk about her experience and also have some from ERCI and other people. There's a lot of students that have actually gone and volunteered at refugee camps and other um, places. Mm -hmm. So they can also come and then talk about their experience. So I think that would be a really great thing for people to hear. Uh, other than that, we also wanna do fundraisers and we might do a run to raise money. Love yes. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Classic>. <laughs> um, other than that, we're going to also do kind of a social campaign next year. So when you think about the word refugee, mm -hmm. a lot of people, I'm not saying that us in particular or this university, but a lot of people have negative connotations with it. But what we want to show people is not necessarily the picture you see in media or people crossing the sea, etc. But how they are when they come here and they settle down, they make friends and they contribute to society. We want to show that side. So essentially reinventing the word mm -hmm. refugee and have this campaign on that and have small video clips and um, meeting refugees, former refugees, um, and see how they're doing now. Um, if anybody watching this wants to get involved, how'd they get involved and why would you recommend it? Um, so in terms of why, they, why I would recommend it, while I was on my semester abroad in Paris, um, I actually got to be involved with helping refugees at first hand through Sciences Po Refugee Help. Um, and so I got to see some of the problems that they were encountering and some of those included things like um, the establishment of a black market because resources weren't being delivered in a very efficient way and they weren't the resources that were being delivered weren't actually the resources they needed. Um, so that was a real motivation for me to get involved and as students we are in a very privileged position in that we can set up these kinds of societies and we can really try and do something about it whether um, engaging in dialogue like um, Anna said or whether you know fundraising and actually delivering funds and resources in a very directed way mm -hmm. um, so that would be the reason to join. You can find us on Facebook Refugee Action St Andrews we're currently in the process of setting up a society email so the best way for now is through the Facebook. Right. Yeah. Brilliant thanks very much for talking to us girls. Thanks Thank so much you for, so much for us. having us. Um, if anyone has any ideas about fundraising or events or anything please do get in touch we are open for any suggestions as we said, we're a new society, so any help is appreciated. And we're very approachable, so if you yeah. see us, <laughs> come and talk to us. Brilliant. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Tune in next week. Bye! <laughs> I don't know what's happening, to be completely honest. I'm not involved in this.